Hi, my name is Steve Houston, and welcome to my channel. We talk on this channel everything about financial services. We talk about the comp plan. We talk about the IMOs. We talk about those recruit, recruit, recruit. Don't get those three things out of order. Those type of recruiters, you know, the ones that recruit, don't ever sell anything and try to teach you something they've never done. Those kind. And you look at me like, what are you dressed like? Well, this video is all about credibility and your credibility starts before you get in the home. So hang on a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's talk about credibility as an agent. Now look, a lot of people I think struggle with this. Remember, I call it with my team and my agents, they hear me talk about it all the time. It's called the peephole effect. Remember, if you're doing face-to-face, -face, even if you're doing Zoom or FaceTime or whatever technology you're using and they can see you, you got, you're working against the peephole effect. Remember, when you pull up in front of that driveway or you pull up in front of the house, most people know that there's someone out front or there's someone that just pulled up in their driveway and they're looking through that peephole, okay? And if you show up just like I showed up, uh, you're probably gonna get more porches than most. In other words, porches in this business, for those of you who don't know, means they porched you. You're standing on the porch and there ain't no one there. They may be there, but they're looking at the people, okay? And they're not gonna answer the door because you're scary. <laughs> you're not, your credibility is not there. So how do we establish credibility? What do I mean when I say credibility starts before you get in the home? Well, this might be overdressed for most occasions, but I'd rather be slightly overdressed than way underdressed. And I see a lot of agents that are going in the home, they got facial hair. You make a choice whether you think facial hair. I guess clean facial hair is okay. I see a lot of agents clearly haven't shaved in several days, couldn't grow a beard they wanted to, or their hair's not washed or cleaned or shampooed or combed or cut. We're not financial planners, we're not CPAs, we're not booking, but we are professionals. You're holding a professional license. I was always trained that you want to be at their level or slightly above. You don't want to be underneath. So it really, the dress kind of changes, I think, depending on where you're working. For example, out here in California, if I was going to work in a fairly affluent area, I'd throw on a sport coat. If I'm going to work in a rural area, I wouldn't use a sport coat because it's going to be intimidating. I might wear just a dress shirt. I might even wear a nice dress button down or a polo shirt, something like that. But I ditched the sport coat. But if I'm going to go out and talk to a rancher, I might wear a, 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 a more of a more of a, of a um, flannel shirt or even a, um, a Tommy Bahama type shirt. I might wear a pair of Dockers. I have been known to wear jeans. If it's a rare occasion where I'm meeting someone on a ranch, I want to be again at their level or slightly above so I'm not intimidating. So dress for success. I know it's a simple idea, but really I think this derails a lot of agents that have a high occurrence of people not showing up or porching them at the door. It is that they haven't stopped, looked in the mirror and said, now, if this person arrived at my doorstep, would I open the door? First thing is, again, to establish credibility as an agent, it starts before you get the home, right? And it starts with your dress. So dress for success and dress, for, you know, one that at their level or one level above. Not way up here and not down here. I see a lot of people wearing t-shirts like I just had on, right? That are unshaven, their hair hasn't really been combed. They didn't shower that particular day. When I go into a home, just before I pull into the drive or around that corner, I use mouthwash. Uh, I have breath mints. I make sure my hair's clean. I didn't eat just before I arrived at the appointment. I mean, these personal hygiene is huge. In addition to, you want to have gloves, masks. Now, some people, you know, don't quite care about that stuff. But I always ask, do you want me to wear a mask? Do you want me to wear gloves? And again, our job is to meet them where they feel most comfortable. So the first thing is, is our dress. The next thing is technology, right? You know, look, the, the phone is our friend here. We use the phone to, to book our appointments. So you got to have a... That, that, when I'm interviewing an agent and they have a very, very poor um, phone presence, a lot of it comes down to technology. They're on speakerphone. They're... They're driving in a rural area, they have very limited reception, uh, or they have a lousy, terrible headset, whatever it is. Spend some money on some technology and make sure you have a good, clear signal, right? Good, clear signal so they can hear you. And if you don't, don't make the dials. Because again, you are trying to establish credibility 
before you get to the home. So you want to have um, a good headset. You also, and this kind of goes into that, in that uh, technology platform as well, is you want to have an iPad or a tablet to take with you for those occasions that you might do an e-app. And that e-app, sorry, that, and that iPad or that tablet should have internet uh, capabilities or you want to be able to tether it to your home to your phone or you can tether that in some cases to your phone so an iPad or a tablet or even a large phone display I know they have some of those flips now that the display gets fairly large you can use that as well but you gotta have that kind of technology just make sure that you back it up with paper applications because you're going to get in areas where they don't have any internet service at their house if you're working in a rural area which by the way rural is our customer base right our customer base and mortgage section of final expense Typically, it's 55 years or older, middle-income America. It's not high and it's not low. In mortgage section, anyway, final expense tends to be a little bit lower in terms of the income. Even more important, if you're dealing with the elderly, is that you have credibility. The next thing is identification, right? Identification. When I go over the door, I have my identification. I've got my lanyard. I've got a business card. And I've got my packet. And I have the lead sheet on the front so I can knock on the door. They're looking at, I'm assuming they're looking at the peephole, right? Because I've been doing this long enough to know that they are. So I walk up the door and I have my packet with my lead sheet. I knock on the door. Say, my name is Steve Houston. We had an appointment at 6 o'clock. You filled out this form. I'm here to help you. Again, I want to establish trust. People buy with people they like, know, and trust. But if they don't trust you, you're not getting in the door. <laughs> so make sure you have spent some money on some business cards on a lanyard. Now, my lanyards are always generic. They do not say my company name on them because, again, I'm a broker. I represent a lot of different companies. And kind of the last thing I would say is you got to have an in-home binder, right? It all goes back to credibility, but here's the scoop, okay? Third-party documentation beats conversation. You can talk to them until you're blue in the face, but if I flip in here and I refer back to, let's see here. Here's, uh, here's Gerber. Here's um, ARP, right? And when I talk to them about the fact that ARP, um, and when I mentioned that AARP, that their benefits reduced to 75% of the initial amount of insurance on the date of the insurer reaches 65, and then to 50% at age 60, and coverage terminates at age 85, they go, if I were just to tell them, and I've done it before a lot of times, oh no, 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 ARP, they're a great organization, and they take care of seniors. That may be true, but the life insurance, when they reach 65, it begins to slowly reduce every five years till they get to age 85, and then they terminate them. On AARP's promotional material, it's right there, and I've got it all highlighted in yellow, so I can show them. It's not me telling them that. It's AARP's documentation. If it's in writing, it must be true. So again, you want to have your paper applications for the in-home, even if you're doing e-apps, have paper to back them up in case the Wi-Fi is not working, right? It's a very embarrassing situation to ask if they have Wi-Fi and could you tap into it. So have that with you. Have your training binder, all your third-party documentation. Have your applications. So let's go back over this again. We have credibility. It begins before you get in the home. We have dress for success. We've got technology, right? We have a good headset. We have our identification. And then we want to have our in-home materials together, which includes our field binder. Get it right, Steve. With third-party materials. Third-party documentation beats conversation. Credibility begins before you get in the home. And I think if you focus on this a little bit, on your personal hygiene, all of these areas here, you'll get less people no-showing you, less people porching you on the porch because they're looking through the people <laughs> and they're not liking what they're seeing. 
Have a great day. Don't forget, listen, if you love this channel, if you're getting some good quality content, I am grateful that you're here. I appreciate your support. Do me a favor, mash the subscribe button if you want to be part of the community. In this description, we have a link to our Agent Success Academy, which has been very well received. We're kicking it off in January 2021 with a lot of free training for you. We charge for nothing here, okay? Uh, so make sure you grab that link, get yourself signed up for it, and just kind of wait for the next 60 to 90 days, and we're going to launch some really, really good stuff for you that's going to help you explode your career in 2021. Give me a like on the video because YouTube tells us it's all about the likes in terms of reaching other agents out there that need this kind of no hold bars, no fluff, no BS, in your face, truth. This is how you do it. And we're not trying to convince anybody here. We're just telling you what works and we're telling you what works for free. Have a great day. My phone number's in the description as well as my email. If I can help you, right? If you haven't decided where you want to go, if you're looking at several different options, reach out to me. I can tell you what they have to offer because I study them all, all the comp plans and all the promotion requirements. I've looked at all the guidelines. If you're in an area where we're looking to expand, we can talk about that too, but I can certainly help you not make a mistake and get stuck into a contract that you cannot get out of. Have a great day. Bye-bye.